Guess who drove all the way to Trader Joe's today, thinking that the pumpkin fall seasonal items were out, and then I got there, and they were not there. It's like, okay. But we're gonna do a Trader Joe's haul anyway because I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a while. Some staples, some new things, you know, I'm gonna try. So, you know what? Sorry for the non-fall Trader Joe's haul. My bad. You know, I should have called, but I was too anxious because I thought they were gonna make fun of me for calling to ask about when that falls. I hate myself. <laughs> so let's start with the meats because uh, I've never seen this before. This is coconut marinated Thai style chicken kebabs with thigh meat. Okay, these look fire. You know I love chicken thighs. They didn't freaking have chicken thighs. And get this, a while ago in my Trader Joe's, I think like two Trader Joe's videos ago, I had talked about this these chicken hot dogs and they were so freaking good. Guess what? discontinued bitch i was so mad no chicken hot dogs i did get this like package of grilled chicken meat just because i feel like i've been making a lot of salads lately and this would probably be a really easy way to just throw on some like cold meat i do prefer chicken thighs on my salad but like i said they didn't have chicken thighs so i got that instead got some 96.4 lean ground beef to make some burgers i did get brioche buns since the hot dogs were sol so New item, Carolina Gold Barbecue Potato Chips. Have never seen these before. You already know we're gonna give them a try. Wouldn't be a Manders haul if we didn't try it. Ooh, and they're ridged. You know the deal. If they're ridged, they're better. Like pop chips. Oh man. Woo! Those aren't like regular potato chip, I mean barbecue flavor. Ooh, mustard and vinegar. Those are amazing. I got a box of organic jasmine rice. This is by far the best jasmine rice of all time. It is so fluffy and sticky. Oh, it's amazing. I did also get some shrimp. I got some cooked shrimp peeled and deveined. My favorite, so easy to make for like shrimp tostadas or shrimp salad. I did also recently post this really awesome shrimp salad recipe on my page, which I feel weird saying like, a salad recipe because you just throw a bunch of shit in a bowl but so good i got some sweet potato gnocchi sometimes they're out of those so i just grab them because i haven't had gnocchi in a while i do think it's a scam that they give you three bags in this big old box some romaine lettuce for my salad i find that the chopped romaine is much more hearty than like butter lettuce butter lettuce kind of gets soggy i got some eggs i got some sliced baby bella mushrooms these are my go-to for breakfast scrambles in the morning oh i got two of these i didn't realize that i saw these on instagram a lot and these looked really good these are cauliflower pizza crusts and for one whole crust is six grams of fat four carb and ten protein that's pretty dang good for a pizza. They didn't have pepperoni though. Oh. Then I got Austin some raviolis, but I saw roasted cauliflower and cheese raviolis. That sounded good. Ips. Oh, I didn't get to try this everything but the elote seasoning last time I was there. Or not seasoning, sorry, the dip. This is a like Greek yogurt style dip. So it's only four fat, four carb, and one protein. Same with the everything bagel style dip. Literally amazing. And then I just got their chunky guacamole. Colombe coffee, draft laugh la <laughs> draft latte. Um, I've just never seen this made with oat, oat milk before. And the guy at Starbucks said it was, I mean Starbucks. <coughs> oh my God, the guy at Jared knows that it was really good. I got some mini cucumbers for my salads and green goddess dressing. This is the best dressing from Trader Joe's in my opinion. It is so delicious and so light for salads. Honestly, I feel like you could marinate chicken in that and it would be so good. These were a hit last time I went to Trader Joe's, the pretzel bagels. You guys, I had a breakfast sandwich on these. Absolutely amazing. They were so stinking good and soft. Oh, so good. Then I got my dill pickle chips. I already know these are fire, but we're gonna open it and have one anyway because they're so stinking good. Look at the size of these chips and they give you the crunchy part of them. Oh. 
They're so good. Chips and bread, shit. The brioche buns that I got, I feel like these would be good for burgers or breakfast sandwiches. You know me and my breakfast sandwiches. I decided just to get regular brioche bread so that I could make some French toast with it. Although obviously brioche bread is gonna be higher in fat than regular bread, so. Austin loves these barbecued popped ridges chips, so I got him a bag of those. Some dried cranberries for my salads. I don't know why, but no matter what, you put on your salad, the dried cranberries always just give it such a good, just a little touch. And I got some sangria tomatoes, also for salads and breakfast sandwich, I mean, breakfast omelets. Okay, so I saw this girl on TikTok and when she was using leftover uh, salmon, she made a bowl of like, sh not shredded, but she broke the salmon up almost kind of like how sushi would be and put it in a bowl of white rice. And then she had these little seaweed roll things that she just like used to pick up the rice and salmon and ate it like that. Now I have never had seaweed snacks by themselves. So we're gonna do a first impression. I don't know what this is gonna be like. Oh God, it smells just like sushi, obviously. Oh, they're very light. Oh, oh okay. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. They're so light. Sushi. <laughs> Why did I not put that together? Duh. Definitely would not eat that by itself. <laughs> I see where she was going with that. Okay, I need another dill pickle chip to combat that taste. Moving along, this seemed amazing. I feel like this is something that would go really good on burgers or like tacos. It just says magnificent sauce, a tangy sauce of secret proportions. Nine fat, six carbs, zero protein, just like your traditional sauce, but Seemed like it was kind of one of those like spiced mayo type deals. Got some fat-free pizza sauce for that cauliflower crust thing. I'm gonna try to make some type of pizza this week. I just need pepperoni. Then I got a couple of different spices. Erin told me to get this Japanese multi-purpose seasoning. She uses it for eggs and says it's really good, but you can put on rice. Got two of these seasonings. I love this everything, but the elote seasoning. Can someone please tell me how to pronounce that? <laughs> and then I got this, I'm not even gonna try. It just sounds something like something I would like. And then their black garlic. This I'm so excited for. I've never had this from Trader Joe's, but it's always recommended and I've never seen it. So I'm super pumped for that. Then I just got two little avocados, nothing crazy. Two bags of mini golden potatoes. These are my absolute favorite to roast in the air fryer with some garlic and little avocado oil. If you didn't see that veggie video, definitely check that out because I basically use the same techniques for roasting the cauliflower and the zucchini and everything. I'm kind of talking about different seasonings. So good. So that is everything that I got at Trader Joe's. I am very sorry to disappoint you that it's not a fall haul, but I will go back in the middle of September and get a fall haul for you. Don't you worry. <laughs> so that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so you never miss Monday or Thursday with Manders. And I am gonna go clean all this up and make myself a burger on that brioche roll because it is calling my name.